Hello, I'm Trevor Greensmith, performance engineer for Kevin Magnuson at MoneyGram Haas F1 team, and this is my Ask Me Anything. As a soon-to-be engineer, I would like to know how you got into F1 and did your career start in F1. So after high school, I was uh, an apprentice in a restoration shop that worked on historic race cars, and then I went to a university for motorsport engineering. Um, during that time, I was also freelancing for smaller teams as an engineer. And when I graduated, I went to IndyCar as a systems engineer, then as a performance engineer, and then I came here. Uh, so I did not start my career in F1. What's it been like working with Kevin and what's he really good at? Um, it's been great working with Kevin. Um, he works super hard. His feedback is excellent and very precise. And uh, he's a Viking. What's the transition been like coming from IndyCar to F1? Uh, kind of like drinking from a fire hose. It's very, it's very different on many levels. There's a ton to learn for sure, but luckily the same laws of physics still apply everywhere, so that's quite good. And what are the principal areas you manage as a performance engineer? Um, well, obviously car performance, but uh, that's through car setup, uh, so both mechanical and aerodynamic car setup. So I work with the race engineer, controls engineer, driver, and various departments to try and hone in and develop on a setup that extracts the most possible performance from the car um, for a given track, obviously, whilst also taking care of uh, tires and staying reliable and legal. Is it intimidating working with a Viking? Uh, yes, very. You definitely don't want to get him angry. Just kidding. What does your day look like at the track? Um, well, after we arrive at the track, typically, for example, on a Friday, we'll have a meeting to discuss objectives and plans for the day. And then throughout uh, FP1 and 2, we'll test various uh, items and changes on the car to try and help us determine our best setup and compromises for qualifying in the race. And we'll come together um, after those sessions with the trackside and factory groups and try and bring all of our ideas and analysis together and uh, get the optimal setup on the car. During a race, how much can you change in setup, et cetera, to maximize performance in real time? Not a lot. Uh, we're in Park Ferme at the start of qualifying, so we can't make mechanical changes to the car. Uh, the only things we can change during the race are front wing angle and uh, some limited control systems and power unit settings. Uh, which racetrack has the best team garages paddock area? Very good question. Um, I would say either Bahrain or Miami for the paddock and garages, and probably Spa and Monaco for the views. What's the most stressful weekend you've had yet? I would say probably my first weekend doing this job. How long is your lunch hour? <laughs> uh, one hour at the factory and uh, usually zero hours at the track. What was your reaction to Kevin's poll in Brazil last year? Um, probably similar to yours, shock and awe. It was just awesome. What are some good ways for engineering students to enter the motorsport world? Great question. Um, it's hard, experience is key. Getting your foot in the door is hard and just trying to find sort of any opportunity to uh, get in on the engineering side with, um, you know, either a supplier or manufacturer with a small team and a junior formula, just wherever you can get in and get experience. How many days are you out traveling during the season? I have met Kevin in Denmark quite often, so it looks like he has spare time between races. Do you? Uh, I think it's probably around 150 days a year of travel, and when the races are not back-to-back, -back, then there's usually some time off in between. That was Ask Me Anything. Thanks for sending in your questions. I've enjoyed answering them and hopefully given an insight to my role at the team.